and a very good afternoon. If you can hear me, we're back at Mass Flactor 2. It's uh, half past half past one in the afternoon. Quite a few people here. It's not so busy there. Some people walk on the beach. We have the huge uh, wind turbines and one here. So we're going to try and put the Yagi up today, which we can see here in bits. The kind of plan, maybe put it on one pole, but there's not a lot to support it on really, as you can see. We'll see how, we'll see how it goes, I'll put it together. It's just me a, more of a test today, just to see how things work, what other things I need, and we'll see how it goes. So after having a quick uh, chat with the local police uh, and explaining what I'm doing, they wish me luck and go on their way. So we're up to this bit so far. It's got took me probably about uh, three minutes to get this so far here. And I hope you can hear me, it's very windy. And this pole looks a bit short. I'm thinking about putting the other pole on, making it a bit higher. Okay, we'll try that, uh, that one in a minute. Well, she's up, finally. A little bit bent. I'd really like it to be a bit higher. It's probably uh, three meters high or so off the ground. A little bit bent at one end. That's no real problem. So this is pointing towards London approximately. So that's pointing towards France, Italy approximately. That's Germany. And that must be Norway and Sweden. Ish. So we'll plug it in. And I'll see if I can hear anybody. Hope so. So I'm not sure if you can see the display, the sun is shining right through, but I have no, I still have no QRM, I'll put uh, two preamps on, let's have a listen. We'll just check the SWR. This probably isn't, isn't such a bad idea. So you can see the SWR is quite high, almost two. But not to worry, we can press this button. And I'll try again. Now the SWR is nothing, zero. Maybe it shows better up on my phone, 
But there seems to be an awful lot of lines here, an awful, awful lot of interference. I mean, considering we're at the beach, you'd think there'd be no interference at all. But all these lines are... Oh, and there's a lot. Oh, that's because we're turning that up. Even though there's no uh, QRM, but there are all these stripes. Maybe the wind turbines do uh, give interference. Because I can't think what else would be giving interference here. Yeah, strange. Let's, uh... <laughs> yeah, and extremely quiet on the bands. <laughs> I'm not sure if you can see the display because of the, uh, the sunlight, but it's very, very quiet. You can see there's a signal here, but this is a one of those. And just, just to try the uh, 20 meter band. I'm still not sure if you can see this, hope you can. <laughs> but it's very, very quiet also on 20 meters. But I've got a good idea how it's gonna work. I'm not sure if you can see it from the car, but uh, the arrow's pointing towards England now. In the summer, when I get a new motor and controller for the Yagi at home, I can then put the old motor on this Yagi and from inside the car, use the controller and turn it left and right. Which seems a lot easier than me getting out of the car myself and turning it left and right. But today was a practice. It's a shame it's not a bit busier, but uh, I suppose that's just the way it goes. I'll have a quick try on a triple five again and see, uh, maybe uh, point the aisle towards Germany or so. But it's an absolutely beautiful day. Okay, I'll try. Uh, I'll try some more on triple five. So everything's packed away. What we've learned today is, next time I'm going to bring a motor and a controller for the Aggie. But what a beautiful view. Beautiful, beautiful view. Okay, thanks for watching, 73s until the next time.